Surviving Real Food Ranch. Wholesome, natural, family farming. Good job, Bella. You want to try trotting? Hey guys, welcome back to Riding Real Foods Ranch Ride. I'm Charlotte. And I'm Megan. And today, we got baby goats. They were just born on the farm. So, who had her babies? Jill. This is Jill. And he is Tilly's daughter. Tilly is somewhere. Tilly's right there, behind you. So she had quads. Just like her mom. And they are all... Boys. They're all boys. That's crazy. But three of them have blue eyes. And one has brown eyes. And they are pretty cute. So these are going to either be pets for somebody or bottle babies for somebody. We're not planning on keeping any of these. We have more bucks than we need. So if anyone's interested in a pet goat, let us know. This one in the front is really cute with the black and white. Yeah, there's two buckskin colored ones. Yeah, I figure out why this one's so hot. He's in black. We might need to take him to the shade. But Jill seems to be doing great. We are gonna watch and make sure everyone gets colostrum. This one definitely has had colostrum. I've been helping with nurse. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime there's more than two, it's a. Uh, you gotta watch closely and make sure they get fed properly. Luna's coming over to see the new babies. So this is exciting. We also have some new things on the farm. We got a new sled for our chicken feed. So we're just about to Feed and water. let the chickens in here. They have not one already got in. One did already get in. Oops. So I use an old mower to pull the coops, which the coops are back there. So they haven't been in here very long just for this morning, but we're gonna go ahead and move them again. Cause I couldn't get that sled in there easily after the fence was already up. <clears throat> so we'll see how they like it. Hopefully it makes moving chicken feed easier. The uh, feeders are just strapped down. They hold much larger quantities. And I can pull it with the old mower that is it doesn't mow anymore but we bought it just to move the coops which I credit Kyle because he had the good idea and it was it is great so they seem to like it so last week we were in the back 40 and we have three separate areas that we consider pastures on our reviving real food property. So what I'm going to do is show you a little bit of an overhead map and how our paddocks are set up once we get into these different pastures so you can see what Megan's doing. We have moved from the back 40 uh, to our third pasture which had plenty of winter grass still growing up. Okay, so now I've got, this is an overhead view of our property. This is due north and south. So edges of our property kind of look like this uh, over to here, all the way across, excuse me, that goes actually up to here, to here, and then over to here, there, and there. So sorry, that was a little bit slow, but that's the general idea of what the property looks like. Now, the three 
pastures that we use here. This general area here, we consider one of our pastures. And there is good and bad in this area, wide open here in the middle, but there's some tree areas, which is where Megan is going to be cutting through today. Uh, our back 40, this is what we consider our back 40 in this general area. And then we call this haymaker field. This is really, you could say that this section here is about the same in haymaker, but it is a totally different grass. So it's amazing how every little ecosystem is different and we're going to work really hard to get a better blend of grasses up in that area. Uh, but we're looking to begin to hay here. We've got a neighbor that's going to help us with that the following week. So we're going to go back here now and show how Megan is cutting through some of these trees to move the chickens.
Tried. I'm Charlotte and today we're on the day two of Jill having baby goats. Her quadruplet, so let's go see them. The cows broke their shelter, so the goats are borrowing it. Jill found a nice little shady spot for her four babies. She seems to be feeding everybody which is pretty awesome for having quads. <laughs> You're so cute. That one's my favorite. But where are you going? Where are you going? Which one do you have? This is Nikki. Cute little thing. Mm -hmm. I wish they had all opposite genders, but... Yeah, they're all boys. These guys are getting a drink. We won't bother them too much. You're doing a good job, Jill. <laughs> that one's quite content. Mm -hmm. He's laying down in the fountain, so I would not pick him up. He must have a full belly. Sleepy. Yeah. I don't know what. Because you got blue eyes. <laughs> fun, fun. Just want candy to be content. Now he's gonna get him a drink. What a cutie. This one's Dawn. His name is Dawn. This is Ricky. And that's Nikki and Dicky. It's Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn. These two are fighting over who's getting a drink next. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. Thank you for watching Reviving Real Foods. Like and follow for bleed's sake.